Today we're going to be taking a look at Wormwood Gaming's Hope Box, which is a super cool collectible item supporting a great charity. Hey, this is the McGuire Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Wormwood Gaming. Now, you'll see two boxes on the table today for us, larger box and a smaller box. Today we're going to be focusing on this little box right here, and I'll tell you why this is something that is extremely special. What you'll find here is one of Wormwood Gaming's dice trays. This is not the smaller personal dice tray, it's the larger table-based dice tray. I love this thing. I do have a review on this dice tray. This exact one right here if you want to actually check that out but today we're going to be focusing on this little special box right here so this is from a charity that is called take this that isn't something that wormwood gaming created this is a very broad charity that exists out there today they have tons of partners across the industry and it is a charity that is more focused on the gaming community although this is a charity that is available to anyone that has the needs that they support. That charity is focused around things that tend to be more around the mental health type needs. And when I say that, I'm talking about things like depression, things like anger management. That is what this charity, Take This, really focuses on. And their symbol you'll find right here on this box. Now, Wormwood Gaming, as being a partner of this charity to help support this initiative, has created something called the Hope Box. And that's what I've got here in front of me. Uh, these come at a very low price point. And when you purchase one of these, you're essentially helping out to take this charity. So if we look at the box here, they send you, it's a really nice, well done box. And you know, as all of the stuff that Wormwood Gaming does, everything is packaged very, very nicely. You've got some nice tape here with their symbol that's actually on the tape. Looks great. You've got a nice uh, take this, icon that's right on the front and when you open the box up and i have to be careful here uh they they really did the the inside uh quite nice and i'll go ahead and set this to the side and show you the inside of this box so inside they've got a few different cards there and those cards are going to tell you about the actual wood that you got so one of the things that makes this kind of a fun item not only are you supporting the take this charity but this is a surprise so whatever type of wood and they have 16 core woods they use whatever type of wood uh, you get is a surprise it isn't like you go on the website when you when you purchase one of these uh, and i believe this was twenty dollars and i was around five dollars worth of shipping so it's at a fairly low price point for uh you know somewhat of a charity donation as well as getting a pretty cool item that comes with it this is the take this shield it's got a little sword that is uh, somewhat engraved in the front of it it isn't just a it feels like it's it doesn't feel like it's just a stamp maybe it is but it, it does feel like it's somewhat engraved in there it's a little lower than the than the top and then on the back they do stamp their symbol and it's going to be difficult to see i'll take some pictures here at the end as well as the year so you can collect these every year if you want to get these i will definitely this is the first year that i've actually got one of these and uh, I definitely, as long as their partners with Take This, will purchase one of these every year. One, just to be able to help out that charity organization as well, as I think this is a pretty awesome collectible item. So back to the specialty of the woods. There's 16 different woods that you can get. And I got really lucky. This wasn't because um, I was going to do a review of any type of this. I thought it would be cool, mainly to help out the charity, to see if I can make a little bit more awareness around it. But I actually got one of the best woods, and this is English Welsh Elm, is what this is actually called. And the only one that's better than this is the best one, which is called Legendary. You get a special wood, and I think the inlay is a little bit different. Maybe it's a little deeper ingrained. Uh, I'm not really sure, but the inlay is a little bit different than what's on this piece. So I was overly excited when I opened the box because this is the one wood that I've always wanted to have you know, a dice tray or a personal dice tray. This wood is a, is fairly pricey, and the reason is because it's very rare. Uh, you find it in Scotland. It also grows, I believe, in the British Isles. So it's, it's not a, a wood that's just all over the place. It's got a great grain to it. It's got a ton of knot work that's just naturally in the wood. And you can see, I'll take some pictures up close. You can see how those knots are in there. And then the top... It's kind of split. Uh, it's not broke by any means. That's just kind of how the wood looks. And I, I love that. Like, I love these pieces that um, have 
that not work and it just it gives it so much more character and here i got an actual this is a red oak my my dice tray and i went with the one because i bought it at gen con and they have some some samples out that you can choose from when you purchase your uh uh, your piece and obviously it's natural so every piece is going to be completely custom and different i always look for the ones that've got that's got that knots and those different you know grains in them i think is i think is really cool so i was overly uh surprised and happy to see that i got the english welch elm i got the english welch elm version of the shield that is awesome when we look at these cards here you've got a card that's going to tell you about the actual wood which i thought was pretty cool and then on the back which i thought was nice they're going to show you a map of the world and then where that wood is from in the world. Uh, and it says here, Hails from Europe. And it's got kind of the area highlighted of where you would find this particular wood. There is a checklist here that has on the front the Craftsman Promise. And I will make it clear, this isn't anything and as any review that I do. I do these because I personally like the product that I have acquired. Wormwood has not asked me to do this. I am not paid to do this. But I will say, out of personal experience, from their dice trays, from seeing and talking with them at conventions, seeing the other products they have, stuff like this, absolutely they make the best wood-based products in the world from a gaming component perspective. I have never seen another company out there that comes close to the quality and the consistent craftsmanship of this stuff and that's what you really got to pay attention to when it comes down to companies like this it's not just getting one item that's really high quality and everything else is sloppy no their joints the way everything goes together the felt the leather whatever goes into the product everything is well done from a quality perspective as far as what i have experienced and you can see that as well just going to the conventions stop by their booth walk around and just look at the products that they have out I think you'll be amazed on the consistent quality that they have to offer. So that's what's on the front of this is that craftsman promise that you're gonna get with their products. And then on the back, what you're gonna see is a complete list of all the different woods that you can get for this. There are 16 of them. Uh, I got the English Welch Elm and the best is the legendary and they do kind of put those in order and that's how I was able to kind of see I mean I've always wanted this particular wood and in, in some of these various different things uh, but you know the cost is a little bit higher again because of you know the rarity of that wood the importing of that wood that's going to obviously make that a lot more expensive so that's the woods that they do include and then there is a last card which is a nice thick card here I actually thought it was a magnet when I first pulled it out but no it's just an actual thick card and this is around the take this hope shield so again this product is the hope shield take this is the charity you'll see some uh, items that are in the front here that reference some of those mental health type things that this charity is specifically going to help with so I'll just read a couple of these real quick in remembrance of those no longer with us so if you're you're suffering you know extreme sadness maybe even depression Hold their memories close and let it give you strength as a reminder that you're not alone. Let it shield you from the darkness and light your way with hope. So that's what's on the front of this card. And then on the back, you'll find just some information for that actual charity, the website, uh, and some contact information. If maybe you feel like you needed to contact this charity and you need some help one way or the other, that information is on the back of this card. And they do put inside, and I'm not sure if this is, um, uh, it might be. I'm not sure if the, the, the wood trimmings, you know, the shavings they put inside are from this wood, or if this is just from all the woods that they got going on. This does look like a mix of woods, because there's, yeah, it definitely is. Here's the, the actually, that's, that's a piece of the legendary, I think, the legendary wood right there. Uh, and then there's a darker piece here, which is probably from that, and then there looks to be like maybe... That's yeah, red oak, and then um, uh, that might be the elm there, and there, you know, just so it's various different woods. Uh, I'm not going to smell each one of them, uh, but it's, it looks like there's various different woods that are in there, and that's kind of cool. And you know, if you're creative, these actually do have quite a bit of scent to them, so uh, you could actually kind of just set this box out like this, and and I do tell you the truth. Uh, set this out, put it in a little glass jar, and it actually will, much like potpourri, kind of give a little bit of smell to a, 
a smaller area, I would say, like what I'm in right now. So, you know, that's nice. I guess you could uh, double use that for uh, for that if you want to. But that's the Hope Shield from Wormwood Gaming. Go out there and get you one. I believe they still have these on their website. They do come in limited quantities. And the last time I checked, I think it said they had 26 of them left. So uh, I'm not sure if that's exact inventory uh, level, but um, it did look like they were still uh, selling these for 2017 and they are a limited run. So get out there, get your Hope Shield and support the Take This charity. Hit that like. Click the subscribe below to join the team, ring the bell. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time.